Over the course of my weight loss journey, as well as the obvious being a calorie deficit and exercise more, there have been a few small changes that have really had a big impact on my progress. So in this video, I wanna share with you three of these small changes in the hope that it can help with your weight loss journey as well. So the first small change that I made that had a huge impact was to cut out liquid calories. So in order to lose weight, you have to be in a calorie deficit. And when you're in a calorie deficit, you very quickly begin to realize how many calories are in certain foods and in certain drinks. And you begin to really cherish every single calorie you have in your daily allowance. One thing that really helped me get control of this was to cut out liquid calories. So I cut down the amount of orange juice I drank, I cut out alcohol, I stopped drinking sugary drinks, and this really helped because it freed up so many calories that I could then use elsewhere. Obviously the best alternative to drinking these drinks is to drink water, but if you want something that has a bit of taste and can see you throughout the day, then there are some good alternatives out there. Things like Diet Coke and Pepsi Max are good alternatives. I know they're very unhealthy, they're definitely not the best option in terms of health, but they taste pretty close to the original and they have zero calories. So you can still get some enjoyment out of drinking them, but without worrying about using up your precious calorie allowance. Some other good alternatives can be black coffee and black tea as well. If you cut out the orange juice in the morning and then cut out the glass of wine in the evening, then you've pretty much saved yourself another 300 calories. And this is 300 calories that you can then use as food to fuel you, or another 300 calories that you can use to work towards your calorie deficit. Another small change I made that had a huge impact was deciding to cook and eat at home. Basically cutting out the food deliveries and reducing the amount that I eat out. Because when you eat out, it's really difficult to understand exactly how many calories you're consuming. I know that some restaurants have the calories written on the menu, but I always wonder how accurate these actually are. Whereas if you cook and eat at home, then you know exactly what you're putting into your body. So there's no more guesswork. If you're serious about losing weight, then you really need to get control over your food. It's really, really difficult to just exercise your way to weight loss. So diet has to factor into this. So you need control over your diet. And this is where cooking and eating at home helps. It gives you that control back. And it's also way cheaper as well, so you can save some money in the process. And here's a bonus small change that really helped, which is linked to this previous point. And that is spices versus sauces. When you are cooking at home, Try to focus on recipes that use spices rather than sauces. And this is because sauces are normally loaded with loads and loads of empty calories, whereas spices don't have that. So if you use spices, you can still get that boost in flavor, but without all of these extra calories. So it's much better to have paprika on your chicken and pasta rather than some thick tomato sauce. They both taste great, but one is a lot more efficient in terms of calories. Before we get to the third small change that had a huge impact, if you're finding this video valuable, then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thanks. The third small change that had a huge impact on my weight loss journey was to plan out all of my meals, and I mean all of them. When I decided to seriously look at losing weight, I planned out every single meal for the week, including snacks, and I was absolutely meticulous about it. And I can't tell you how helpful this has been. When you don't plan out your meals, then you're leaving things to chance, and I guarantee you'll find yourself in a situation where you haven't got the right food and you start to order food in, you get that food delivery, or you haven't planned out exactly what you're gonna eat that evening, so you dig deep into the cupboard and find some unhealthy snack. Deciding what food to eat and then preparing that food can be a real effort. So in times of weakness, it's just gonna to lead to you falling off your diet. If instead you plan out all of your meals and prepare everything beforehand, which really doesn't take that long actually, you don't give yourself this option to fall off your diet. And if you link this with meal prepping as well, then you're onto an absolute winner. So those are three small changes that had a huge impact on my weight loss progress. I still have a long way to go on this journey and I'm really excited to see how far I can push this, but I do hope that this was valuable. And if you do decide to implement any of these changes, then I really hope that it helped with your weight loss journey too. With that being said, thank you for watching. Good luck. It's been a pleasure and I will see you in the next video.